Today we are going to be talking about Sumier painting. Sumier painting is an East Asian style artwork, um, traditionally known as Japanese, but also Chinese, Korean, um, other Asian cultures make the same kind of artwork. And um, it's basically a couple things. Number one, it is based on the lightness or darkness of your brush stroke and you can see here on this example how the same brush stroke from here all the way down and all the way up use just one brush stroke and you can see how it's really dark here and then here as I as it got to the middle point it's light on this side and darker on that side um, it also is about um, an economy of line every line every piece has to be just right um, there's no excess, you know, little branches or things or whatever you're doing. It's all kind of condensed down to have just the, the bare minimum amount of information in the picture. Um, and the philosophy is about capturing kind of the essence of the thing rather than painting it in excruciating detail and having a amazing detailed version it's about kind of capturing the essence the smell of the flowers the bend of the tree um, and so that philosophy should come through in your painting um, since I don't I don't have one for everyone in the class I brought my own Sumier my own traditional Sumier kit and this is what a Sumier kit looks like typically it comes in some kind of a box um, and inside of it there is the supplies you need. There's two layers here. One um, has the inking stone and this is a slate stone that's been carved so it's got a little well down here that you can put the ink in. And these are the ink sticks. They're called, this is what Sumier means, ink. Um, and so this, you, you take the ink and you put a little water on your stone and then you rub the ink around on the stone and make the water and the ink mix together here until you get the right consistency and that in and of itself is kind of an art form getting the ink to wash just to the right amount um, here's a little brush holder okay here's a little teeny weeny water cup with a little spoon in it to get one dribble at a time into your container um, and so I'll actually take some water and fill that up because we'll use it in a second just for fun um, and I think I need just a little bit more. It's kind of like our water cup when we do watercolor painting so that you can make washes basically. And no tan and uh, Sumier brush painting is basically watercolor painting um, and learning how to do very delicate washes of color so that you can control the lightness and darkness of your color. Here's my two Sumier brushes. The white one um, is a little softer and um, is, is for making wider marks and uh, making uh, more washes. Uh, and the darker one is a little on the stiffer side and is good for you know having points and doing more delicate lines. It also, I haven't used this part yet, but this one, um, you can, it's a soft stone that you can carve into and carve your name into and then you use this um, ink here to stamp your name onto the bottom of your artworks. Um, so that all being said, kind of the introduction to what a Sumier artist set looks like, um, let's show you what the Sumier brushes do. Now, I didn't use a Sumier brush to do this. I used just a regular number 10 natural bristle brush that we have in the classroom um, because we don't have Sumier brushes for everyone in the class okay Sumier brushes um, have a great ability to push down and make large strokes and then as you pull up make thin strokes and it's all about how you control your brush so here being um, our Sumier kit I'm going to use some water and put some water into my little um, uh, ink stone and then instead of rubbing the ink and making traditional ink I'm just going to use our watercolor setup here and I'm going to get some black on my brush and I'm going to put it in my ink pan so that I can create the right kind of ink okay about the, the correct color and they have these ink pans created. I'm actually going to move. Oh, I can't move that out. How about I just take this piece out? They have it such that as you work with this, 
you're supposed to pull your brush up and twist it and that creates the nice point for you to work. As um, a sumie artist would hold their brush like this uh, and then hold their hand straight up and down and that gives them really good control over how they pull their brush and they can kind of swoop it around a little better than if you're holding it like um, a pencil. Okay, so if I show you what it looks like kind of from the side, um, here's my paper and here's how I would be holding my brush. Okay, here's my hand and you can see my index finger on the top, my pinky on the bottom and as I press down on the paper and pull, I can get a thick line if I press down hard and as I pull up I can twist my brush and use just an ever so slight line to get a thinner line quality. So the whole art form of this is learning how to press down and then pull up all in one stroke to get a thin line that describes exactly what you want it to describe. So um, that is the basics of Sumie painting. Um, and if I would want to change my, my colors from dark to light, I can always add just a little bit of water, mix it around, and then change that. Okay. So depending on how you do your water, you create the light versus dark effect that does create Sumie painting. And if we look back here at my original example, you can see the lightness here in the branch versus the darkness up here in the branch. Okay, and that's kind of a basic introduction to Sumie painting.